Welcome to this week's edition of Tech Tips. This week I'll be going over our quick create command and how to use it in conjunction with a template map. So you see in front of my screen there a little architectural model. So the first thing we do recommend, especially if you're receiving an architectural model like this, is to purge all the unused walls, doors, windows, and openings in that project. Uh, and the reason being it's going to be a little bit easier to assign templates to those walls and to assign markers to those openings. So um, one thing that you are going to have to do is make sure that all your templates are in your uh, project and not in your disk. So if we go here into our template manager, uh, I have these uh, default ones that are in the disk, but make sure that your project, that all the um, templates that you need to frame out your project are in the project folder and not in the disk. So let me close that. And then of course, in order to use that quick create command, it, it is used in conjunction with a template map. So let me open up this template map. So when you open up this for the first time, this is what you're gonna see. So you see here that everything is uh, on, a seat on the, the disk here. So as soon as I hit plus, and let's just call it test here, and say okay, you see then that it's looking now for that project. So it's going to look for those templates that are in that project folder and not in the disk. And to build a template map, you simply just hit these plus a couple of times here. And now if I come down here, all the Revit walls that exist in this project are going to be available in this drop down menu for me to uh, assign a template map to. Sorry, assign a template to. And this is why we recommend that you purge all those unnecessary walls. Had we not done that, uh, every single wall that was uh, in this project, I would have had a longer list here. So it just makes things a little bit easier. So let me take this MDF exterior wall here. And let me just click here anywhere in space here, click. And now I see that that structural layer thickness is five and a half. So it kind of gives me an indication at, as to which template I need to assign this wall to. So if I come down here, I have that exterior two by six. I can choose that one. And then I go down the list again to all the walls that I need. And then I come here and I choose the appropriate template to map to the appropriate wall. So I already have one set up here. Okay. And then we see here that I already have that template map. I have these four, to, uh, four Revit walls that I've assigned these MWF templates. And that's essentially what a template map does. It will take a Revit wall and it will link it to an MWF template. So now that I have that template activated, I simply hit OK. So let me come down here into my first floor walls here. And because I have that template map activated, essentially what it allows me to do is blanket select all these walls, hit my quick create. But for the purpose of this demo, I'll just do a few and they're going to be different sizes. I'm going to hit my quick create and you see I have six walls selected. It's reading what those wall types are and from that template map, it's reading which template is required for which wall type. And there you go. All my six walls that I've selected are framed. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to frame out walls uh, with the quick create command in conjunction with a template map. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Tech Tips.